Hi everyone, good afternoon. It's a nice sunny Saturday uh, morning, afternoon, and I am going to create some tutorials today. So lot of a uh, lot of my uh, fellow colleagues asked to write something about MongoDB. So AWS has a <coughs> document DB server which is uh, DynamoDB, but MongoDB is also very popular. So MongoDB is a uh, document based database it's it's a no sql database where you can use your key value pairs so it is quite popular and aws don't have any managed service for mongodb so now i'm going to show you how you can use aws to set up your own mongodb server over there so let's start it so let me type uh, ec2 so I'm go to EC2 area where I will just create a new instance and I'm then we'll use that as the MongoDB server. launch a new instance now I can use Amazon Linux one you can use Ubuntu as well both are compatible and um, in the marketplace there are some already pre-built images for MongoDB where you have MongoDB and Ubuntu set up over there but I'm going to uh, show you from scratch so I'm going to choose Amazon Linux one everything I keep as a default then I move next everything is default same VPS okay then I'm going to um, go to next add storage add tags security groups okay uh, I just want to have okay. This is my security group. I just created an old one, so let's use this. Launch. I am going to create a new key pair. Mm, this is November sixteen. launch instance okay so the instance is launching meanwhile the instance is getting ready I just uh, set the permissions I copy the IP and then now trying to connect to that instance. Yes. Perfect. So uh, I am now connected to that my instance. Then I am going to update the YAM packages. It might take some time, uh, around one to two minutes. So let's wait and while it's done, it's almost done. Okay. 
come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yep, it's done. Let me clear my window. So that's good. Then if I run a uh, sudo yum install mongodb org, it will probably not find because the yum repository doesn't know what this mongodb org is. So what what we have to do? It's uh, it's simple. I will provide in the description. So I need to create a file where I will uh, give us the location that this mongodb repository is there. Okay, so now I'm going to write those paths. This basically says we have to fetch those repositories for installing. Now I run sudo yum install mongodb org. Yes, it is now correctly fetching those data. Yes, I'm going to install and that's it. That's it. I'm done. So now uh, I'm going to uh, check whether I have successfully installed sudo service mongod d for daemon start. Yes, my mongod is starting. Then I set it as as default service when server reboots. So the sudo ch get config mongo chk config mongodb on this will make it start when your server reboots so it's a kind of like startup what services you need to start automatically okay that's it then um, now i'm going to connect to that mongodb so if you just press mongo that's it you have now connected to that mongodb okay then i use db then this is the db this db that's over there. Now um, I am connected from local. Now, if I wanted to connect to uh, to from outside of this server, how can I do that? Let's say this is my uh, MongoDB server running over there, and I wanted to uh, access that from outside this instance. Let's say my AC2 servers are over there, web servers are some somewhere else. How can I do that? So, what we do, we modify these uh, config files. And then you have an option in the bind IP. Okay. Here it says if you put o dot o dot o dot o, then uh, you get access. You get um, allow access from other uh, instances as well. So I have now restarted and I, I can still cannot connect to that instance because I need to open a port. What is that port? The port is uh, 27017. So um, if you click on this uh, security group, 
and then um, now either you can uh, it's the port is two seven zero one seven so this is I can get anywhere and then we can so this is MongoDB port So in this process, you can now um, connect to your MongoDB server from any of the EC2 instances. And um, then you can write those tables, collections, and read data over there. So I hope it gives you an idea of how you can set up uh, a MongoDB inside your EC2 instance. And then you can use other EC2 instances as your web server and then you, you run your whole application inside AWS so thank you for watching my video and have a nice day bye